So we're going to start from a comfortable seated position. So if you'd like to take a moment or two to come into what for you is comfortable, and you always have the option to lie down if you prefer. And then just take a moment or two to come into your body. And you might like to close your eyes. And first of all, just feel into your posture. So maybe seeing if you can create space between the crown of the head and the tailbone. Thinking about the position of your head, is the chin poked forward in that kind of smartphone posture or can you nod your head up so your ears are in line with your shoulders and is that comfortable for you? Let the shoulders relax away from the ears, the head, neck and spine in line. And then just so that the diaphragm is free, think about the lower ribs, just making sure that we're not kind of slumping over the lower ribs, but the lower ribs are open. And then take a moment or two to feel that you are evenly balanced over both your sit bones. And then just have this sense of your body lifting up. So it's not a stretch, it's not a strain, it's just this feeling of lightness and lift. And then take a moment or two so just check in and ask yourself, how am I now? Emotionally, physically, mentally, energetically. And just see what you can observe from that. So you might be feeling quite relaxed and good, or you might find the mind is agitated or not. You might even have pain, discomfort. So however you find yourself in this moment, just see if you can welcome in all those aspects and embrace them. So you're not resisting anything. You're not resisting your experience. You're just allowing everything to be as it is. And you might like to ask yourself the question, what does my system need? And I'm going to ask you to ask yourself that again a bit later on in the practice, because it might be that your system needs a bit of movement, it might need rest, it might not need anything. Just drop that question into the silence. So you're dropping it into your heart, your body, rather than your mind. It's not a question to be answered with the mind. So the theme of our practice, the bhavana of our practice is going to be around prana, which is uh, one translation of that is universal life force energy. And in yoga, we talk about different kinds of prana. Uh, so prana is very much associated with the inhalation and upward movement of the chest. Apana, which is the releasing, detoxifying energy is associated with a downward movement. But really, I also want to talk to you about vibration and how we can explore that in space. So I'm just going to read you out a few words uh, from the yogi Andrea Kwiatkowski. So because I really like what she wrote, something I found recently, and I thought I'd like to share this with you. We are vibrational beings. The whole of existence is composed of sound. As planets move through space, vibrating. We too vibrate and permeate on all levels to everything and everyone. For the yogi, we are trying to connect with, with that. And we might call that the absolute divine, but also our own true divine nature. And a way to turn inwards and make this connection is through sound and mantra. And they help the mind to travel from one consciousness to another. And when we chant, something we I invite you to do 
here if you want a little later in the practice. It helps us to loosen the knots around the heart so we can appreciate a sense of connectedness. So in yoga, we say that the energy is always there. It's just that we have certain restrictions and knots and our yoga practice is all about helping to release those knots to help this free flow of energy. So we're just going to start with a bit of breathing practice and we're going to do a little bit of chanting, then we'll lie down. So just start by becoming aware of your breath without trying to change anything. See if you can be aware of the difference between your inhalation and your exhalation. And then just check that you are breathing through the nose. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. And then we want to involve the diaphragm. So just to help us to remember what this healthier breathing pattern is like. Take one hand and place it on your heart, the other on your belly button or your belly. And then see if you can direct the breath into the hand that's on the belly. You're not overinflating the belly. It's a very gentle movement. It's a subtle movement. So as you inhale, the hand very slightly lifts. And as you exhale, the hand comes back. And the hand that's on the chest is still because that's helping to pacify the chest. And if you can, begin to slow the breath down, but without needing to make the breath deeper. So think of the breath as being slow and low. So we're just reminding our system to come out of the stress response where we tend to breathe maybe through the mouth and certainly much more from the upper chest. Maybe we're breathing fast, in which case we're exhaling a lot of carbon dioxide. So we're not helping with our intake of or oxygen uptake. We're not helping with our prana, our energy. And then release the hands back down to the knees. I'm just going to do a couple of breathing exercises with you, pranayamas, just to help. So the first one we're going to do tonight, or you might, sorry, wherever you are, it might be the afternoon. We're going to do something which is a bit of an energy hack, which helps to take us out of the stress response quite quickly. So I'll just demonstrate this. You can look at your device if you want, but if not, you could just listen. So I'm going to breathe in through the nose, and again through the nose, and then <sighs> sigh out the breath with a long sigh. So I'll do that once more, breathing in twice through the nose. <sighs> but just try that in your own breathing rhythm up to five times, really sighing out the breath. And when you finish, just take a moment or two to notice how you're feeling. See if what we've done so far with the breathing has had any effect on the system. And just observe that without judging, just with curiosity. And then we're going to do a practice which has been demonstrated to be extremely beneficial for people with long COVID. And I always think that what's good for long COVID is good for all of us with fatigue conditions. 
So we're going to breathe in through the nose and hum the breath out. Mm. Nice long exhalation. So we're going to do that up to five times. Breathing in through the nose, humming the breath out. Keep the hands on the heart and the belly if you like, or you can keep them on your knees. Again, just inquiring, observing how that might have subtly changed you or not. Just being curious, how has that affected the mind, the emotions, for example? And then we're just going to now do a mudra with the hands. So for this, you might want to look at your screen. So I'm going to bring the palms together to the Namaste mudra over the heart. And then I'm going to open the palms like a book. And then I'm going to turn my fingers down. So I'm rotating through the wrists and then bringing the palms together. So inhaling, opening the hands like a book facing forward, rotating through the palms, bringing the fingers together. And then the palms come together. So just try that two or three times. When you finish, take your hands to your heart. And we're now going to chant, if you would like to chant, our mantra this, uh, for this class, which is Om Prana Namaha. I put it in the chat box if you are not sure. Otherwise, we'll do it as call and response. So I chant to you, you inhale, then you chant back. And if you don't want to chant, that's fine too. You could just breathe. Om Prana Namaha Just sit with the eyes closed for a moment or two, feeling the stillness created by the mantra. Remembering that mantra helps to dissolve the knots of the heart. And then just bend your elbows and bring your palms facing each other. And see if you can become aware of energy in the hands and the fingertips. And see if you can become aware of space around the hands. Sense of space around your whole body. And now see if you can be aware of energy between the palms of the hands. You might want to bring them slightly together. Just see if you can really tune into 
a subtle feeling of energy between the palms. And then be aware of the space. because vibration needs to occur in space. And then shake out the hands. And then please come down to lying. So we're going to go into a relaxation posture now. So please choose how you would like to relax. So you might like to relax in the classical Shavasana position on your back. And I always suggest you start with your knees bent and something under your head to help the back of the neck to lengthen. The arms a comfortable distance away from the body with the palms turned up. Or if that's not comfortable, you can rest the palms on your belly. But equally, if you want to remain sitting, you want to lie on your front, you want to lie on your side, however you want to lie, if you want to lie on a bed or a sofa, you decide what will help you to let go and relax and release. So because you transition, just take a moment or two to come back into your body. And if you're on your back, just feel the weight of your head on your support. Be aware of that. And then just very gently and very, very slowly, roll your head as slowly as you can from side to side, being aware of what's connecting with the floor or whatever it is your head is on. Be aware of the movement in the neck. And then centering the head, feel the weight of the back on your support. Be aware where you are connecting with the floor, whatever it is you're lying on. And just feel on every exhalation that you are relaxing and releasing a little more. Breathing out through the points of contact with your support. This is the energy of apana, the energy of the out breath of letting go. So just focus for a moment or two on each and every exhalation. Thinking about the breath again, checking that you are breathing slow and low through the nose, from the diaphragm, not breathing too deeply, not breathing too much into the upper chest. And then take your hands and place them on the belly or Manipura Chakra. And as you inhale, visualize light coming into Manipura Chakra on the inhalation. As you exhale, relax for three breaths. It's said in yoga that where the mind goes, prana flows. So we're visualizing light and energy coming into the system. When you've done your three breaths, take your hands and place them on the heart and hand on top of the other. As you inhale, visualize light coming into the heart. As you exhale, relax. Three slow, mindful breaths.
When you finish your three breaths, take your hands and just palm your eyes. So you're cupping around your eyes, fingertips going towards the hairline. Visualize light coming into the eyes on the in breath. And as you exhale, just soften the whole of the eye area for three slow, mindful breaths. When you finish, relax the arms beside the body with the palms turned up, if that's comfortable for you. And then if you don't have back issues and your knees are bent, you might like to straighten out the legs, sliding out one heel than the other, having the feet wide apart. The arms are either away from the body with the palms turned up, or you can rest them on the belly. Just feel yourself very safe and relaxed now in your body, feeling your body connecting with your support, whatever it is you're lying on. And then when you're ready, we're going to do our lying rocking twist. Now, those of you who come to me regularly will know this one, but I'm going to work with you. So if you need to look up at your device, you can. So what I'd like you to do now, please, is to roll onto one side with the knees slightly bent and have the arms out straight in front of you. And you can have something under your head or not. Um, I'm going to experiment because I'm actually not sure whether I'm going to have something under my head and I'm going to try with. And I'm going to suggest actually that we all start on the left side because that's easier for me to give you the directions. So if we all come to the left, so the right hand, the right palm is on top of the left palm. So I'll just give you a moment or two to transition, just take a moment or two to come back into your body. And then when you're ready, remember you can do this with your eyes closed if you like, because then the posture becomes more like a moving meditation. So become aware of the top hand, the right hand. And then we're very slowly and mindfully going to glide the top hand up the inner left arm. And then we're going to glide that hand along the chest so that we roll onto our back and that right hand comes out to the side. So as lower body is still twisted to the left, upper body is open. Just take some resting breaths here. And then when you're ready, we bend that right elbow, take the hand onto the chest, stroke along the chest towards the left armpit. And then we're going to stroke down the inner left arm till eventually, as we roll onto the side of the head, we bring the palms back together. And you can either rest here, or if you would like, you can take that right palm, that right hand, and just stretch it so the palm is in front of the left fingertips and roll onto your forehead. And just relax here. Just feeling very safe and cosseted and nurtured and breathing. When you're ready, bring the palms together, come back onto the side of the head. 
So we're back in the starting position. Now, if that was enough for you and you want to rest out, please do so. Otherwise, if you'd like to take yourself through that again, become aware of the right hand, start to stroke along the inner left arm, up to the armpits, across the chest, onto the back of the head, opening the right arm out to the right. And then move the support under my head at this point, if that works better for me. Just having some resting, nourishing breaths here. Keeping the breath slow and low through the nose. When you're ready, folding that right elbow, palm back onto the chest, stroking along the chest to the left armpit. Slowly, slowly, slow, stroking down the inner left arm, palms together. And then if you like, you can just stretch that top palm a little bit more, rolling onto your forehead. Closing your eyes and relaxing. Again, just feel this sense of safety. Feel your body is a safe space and that you are nurtured and nourished here. And then when you're ready, bring the palms back together. And then we're going to do that now on the other side. So if you like to come to your right side. So I can demonstrate if you need to look up, I'm just going to spin around. You come onto your right side in any way you would like. So again, knees are bent, palms, arms are out in front of you, palms together. But this time you've got the left palm on top of the right. And then we're all ready. We're going to slowly, slowly stroke the top palm along the inner arm down to the armpit. Left palm slowly sweeps across and along the chest and opens out to the left. So that you're lying on your back and breathing. Just enjoying the opening of the upper body. Upper body is open, lower body is twisted. Just feeling very present in your body in this moment. Keep the awareness just in the body and the breath. If that feels okay for you. And then when you're ready, we fold the left elbow, palm comes to the chest. We stroke along the chest to the right armpit, down the inner right arm until the palms come together. And then if you like, you can just stretch that top palm in front of the bottom, rolling onto your forehead and just rest in here. Check in the breath. When you're ready, bring the palms together, come back to the side of the head. And again, you either have the choice. You have, I mean, you have the choice. So the invitation is either to take yourself through that again or just to rest. So if you want to, you're stroking along right arm, chest, opening up to the left. And 
And we're ready for that left elbow, bringing the hand to the chest, stroking along the chest, down the inner right arm, palms together. And then stretching that left palm a little bit further, rolling onto your forehead. And already bring the palms together. We're now going to do part of the sequence, which I forgot on the other side, but we'll just do it on this side. So if you like to bend your right elbow and just cradle the right side of your head in your hand, and then bring your left hand in front of your navel. If you're not sure you can look up, I'm just cradling my cranium. And then when you're ready, you're gonna push on that left hand to rock yourself. And you choose how you want to rock yourself. And of course, if you don't want to rock, you don't have to. You can either rock yourself slowly, or you might like faster movements. You might like little movements, or you might like big sweeping movements. So you just experiment with what makes you feel good. And then pause and rest on your side for a moment or two. And then when you're ready, and if it's comfortable for you, come onto your back, hug your knees into your chest, just to rock out the spine from side to side. Do put something under your head if you want to. You feel that you need that support. And then we're going to lie back into Shavasana. So whatever variation of the relaxation posture you find comfortable, that might be arms away from the body, armpits free, palms up to the ceiling, legs wide apart. Or that might be the knees bent, or it might be hands on the belly. So just experiment with what makes you feel safe and relaxed. And just enjoy some restorative breath. Focusing on a long, smooth exhalation. Just observing how you're feeling now. It's a bit like we're taking the weather, temperature. How am I emotionally, physically? mentally, energetically, without making any judgment, just being curious and accepting your body safely here now in your space in this moment. Nothing to do, nothing to think about other than being here now, just feeling into your body, feeling into what you're lying on. And then when you're ready, we're going to bend the knees over the abdomen. And you can hold either around the knee or below the knee or even under the knee. And we're just going to do some breath and chanting work uh, with the uh, posture known as Apanasana. So, which actually means the gasoline posture, which I know sounds hilarious and we always when I was doing my teacher training, I always used to snigger at that. But a partner is this releasing energy I was talking about earlier. And when we chant prana namaha, or om prana namaha, it means I am not separate from energy, I am energy. So if you would like, remember everything is an invitation. We breathe in, we let the knees move away from the body, so the elbow straighten, and then we chant the knees back into the belly. Om Prana Namaha. Breathing in, knees moving away, elbows straighten, chanting the knees back 
आहे ओ to five times in your own breathing rhythm if five is too many just do what feels right for you so really listen into the body and honor what your body is feeling remember i asked you a question earlier what does my system need so really honor that whether it means it needs rest or it needs movement And then just rest with your knees over your belly. With something under your head or not, depending on how your neck is feeling. And then we're just going to do some leg raises with the breath. Again, it's an invitation, only if you would like to. And you can do these as gently or as dynamically as you like. So I suggest the palms are down beside the body, beside the hips. Become aware of your right leg. And then we're going to breathe in and lift the right leg. We breathe out and we bend that knee back into the abdomen. Breathing in, we lift the left leg. Breathing out, we bend the knee back in. If that was enough for you, rest out. Otherwise, just continue with the breath. Remember, if you want to work more gently, you can keep the knee and the ankle soft. You might keep the leg lower. If you want to work more dynamically, you might work by flexing the foot and opening the back of the knee. So always work in a way that honors the body, which doesn't create any harm, which is kind of honoring your energy levels. So don't push yourself because yoga is about a quiet mind. And then when you feel that you've worked an even number of breaths on both sides, drop the feet to the mat, bring the soles of the feet together. And just allow the knees to drop out to the side if you want. You can place cushion or padding under them, or you can just let them relax towards the floor. And then you can either rest the hands on the belly, or you can stretch the arms up over the head. So experiment with what feels right for you. And if at any time you feel that your groin is feeling too tight, you just inhale and bring the knees back together. And as you inhale, just say the word I. As you exhale, say the word am. I am. Just allowing yourself to become quiet and tuning in to your own presence. The you that's always there behind the chatter of the mind. When you want to come out of the posture if you haven't already. You can just gently bring the knees together. If you need to rub into the groin, please do so. Just massage into the groin. And then again, just take yourself back into relaxation, your version of relaxation. 
remembering that we're teaching ourselves to rest between activity. So we do a little bit of movement, then we rest. We do a little bit of movement, then we rest, which is an attitude we want to take off the mat so that during the week, we're not pushing through from one thing to another to another. We're just resting and relaxing between activity. Just allowing the mind to become still now, if you're comfortable with that. And if you're comfortable with it, just fully follow the journey of the breath, focusing on the out breath. And if you're not comfortable following the breath, just focus on the movement, slight movement of the navel. Navel rising on the in breath slightly. Navel falling on the out breath. Um, when you're ready, if you would like, please roll to one side. Stay there for a moment or two. When you're ready, please come up into a cat posture. And of course, you can work in cat from a chair as well. Um, so if you want to work on the floor, if you want padding under your knees, you can roll your mat or place a towel under there. Having the hands under the shoulders or slightly forward and apart, fingers wide apart. Knees under the hips, tops of the feet connecting with your mat. And just thinking about creating length between the tailbone and the crown of the head. So it's like you're slightly pushing your bottom away from you to create this length. I'm going to, in a minute, demonstrate the version from sitting, but I'll just show you from the mat if you're not sure. So we're going to breathe in, lifting the heart and the chin very slightly. As we exhale, the navel come to the spine. As we drop the head, just closing down through the front body and then breathing in, we open up the front body as we lift the head slightly and we open the heart. So working with the breath if you can, resting out whenever you need to. And I'll just get a chair. From a chair, you can rest your hands on your knees, inhale to lift your heart and your chin slightly, exhale as you round the spine, navel to spine. So you're doing exactly the same movement. You haven't got that pressure on your knees and your wrists. So just do whatever is comfortable for you. And if you're on a chair, when you want to rest, you can just rest into the chair version of the child pose, which is just to hold forward, letting the head and arms relax. If you're on the mat, you can rest in child's pose also using uh, blocks or cushions. For example, you might put a cushion under your bottom. You might put something under your head. And of course, if that's not comfortable, you can just rest on your mat. Or you might find it more comfortable to rest with the forehead. I actually think it's got nice to take the hands forward, just to stretch and open the armpits a little bit more. And if you prefer, you can actually rest on your back instead. So just choose what feels most comfortable for you.
And then when you're ready, bend your knees, open the arms out to the side like a cross, have the feet hip width apart. We're going to breathe in. As we exhale, we take the knees over to the right, rolling the head to the left, keeping the shoulders engaged with the mat. And if the knees don't come all the way down, that's fine. Just take them towards the right. They might come down, they might not. And then just rest here for a moment or two. You can adjust yourself. You might want to bring the feet closer together. Just make yourself comfortable and rest into the twist. Just feel your whole system relax in the twist, focusing on that long, smooth out breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. And then when you're ready, breathe in, center the head, center the knees. Take a few resting breaths. And then on an exhalation, you can take your knees towards the left, rolling the head to look over the right shoulder, keeping the shoulders aligned on the mat. Just adjusting yourself so you're comfortable. You might, for example, want to put a cushion under your knees. And just observe if it feels different on this side from the other side. So it's not without, not comparing, we're not judging, we're just observing with curiosity. Allowing yourself to go deeply into the posture. Just feeling that energy of apana, of letting go. The out breath. And when you're ready, center the head, center the knees. You might want to just bring the knees into the chest just to counter pose, rocking out the spine from side to side. And then please get ready for the final relaxation. So if you like to um, use blankets, or cushions or eye masks, or whatever you need to make yourself comfortable, and again, as we did at the beginning, you have the choice. You can lie on your back, you can lie on your side, your front, you can lie on a sofa, on a bed, whatever makes you feel comfortable. And today being the equinox, we're going to do a moon meditation just to celebrate the equinox. While you're just getting ready, I'm just going to read you out a poem. It's a poem I read out about a year ago, and I know a lot of you liked it. So, and those of you that haven't have only just started coming more recently, I thought you might like to hear it. And if you heard it a year ago, I'm sure you'd like to hear it again. So it's a very beautiful poem and it's called finding a way through. So I'm just reading this while you are taking your time to transition to resting. And it's by Anna Trevaux. For those who feel the weight of a damp Hessian sack filled with the rubble of grief, I can tell you it will pass. For those who drop to the bottom of a well that has been dried out by a depression deemed unquenchable. I can tell you, there is a way through. For those who waver on the edge of the labyrinth for fear of what feeling life might mean, I can tell you, enter, it is worth it. For those lost in the myriad of chambers of the mind's endless wanderings and wrangles, I can tell you, drop into your heart. For those who catch a runaway train that abandons the present for what ifs and worry, I can tell you, be here now. 
For this moment holds fierce beauty, the bitter and the sweet, and the taste of one ignites the other. Both exist in perfect balance, shadow and light, where dark times beckon. Keep it simple, walk out on the land, breathe through cloud on wet stone across water, the light is there. So just take a moment to settle the body and the breath, making any final adjustments you need to. Now visualize a full moon, milk white and luminous. Just visualize this a little way in front and above you. Now make your moon bigger and bigger. So big that you, with your imagination, you're going to place yourself in the moon and settle yourself in there really comfortably. Choose the seat that you're going to have. You can sit cross-legged, place yourself on any kind of seat that you think would be completely comfortable. You can even lie back on cushions or any chair or bed that you would like to imagine that you're using. Now imagine that you're taking a look around you. And just think of the most perfect landscape that you would like to see. It could be mountains, seascape, countryside. You're sitting or lying comfortably, looking out at your landscape, 360 degrees all around you. Now think of the most beautiful sound that you would like to hear and listen to it. It may be beautiful music or particular sound that you find beautiful, like a cat purring or a harp, singing, whatever you like, just let it fill the air. It might even be silence. Now think of the most beautiful smell that you really like, something which is absolutely a divine smell and let it infuse your space. Now think of something you would like to taste the most wonderful taste that you can imagine. Taste it and let it fill your mouth. Now bring your attention to your hands. Think of something that you can touch, that you would like to touch and feel this under your hand. Feel that you have the most wonderful sensation of touching something really wonderful. Now think about how your mind can rest on these things and feel the most amazing sensations of happiness and contentment, being here in your milky white sphere of the moon, able to look at your wonderful view, hearing wonderful sounds, tasting amazing tastes, and touching a beautiful sensation 
Just being aware that you are totally comfortable, happy and joyous in this place. Just begin to become aware now of your body, how it's lying, what you're touching, and where there are spaces. And as always, the invitation is to remain lying if you would like. Otherwise, just begin to slowly move your fingers and your toes. And then just begin to stretch and move your body in any way that feels comfortable for you. When you're ready, roll into one side and stay in there for a moment or two. And then taking as much time as you need when you're ready, coming up to a comfortable sitting position. So just take a moment or two to come into your body, just checking your posture, being here now with your eyes closed. Again, take a moment or two to check how you are feeling now on all levels of being, allowing the mind to find quietness and peace. And then we're going to chant together Om Prana Namaha. And what we'll do, if you just like to look up at your device, I'll explain. So we're going to start with the hands together in the Namaste Mudra. We're going to breathe in, and then we're going to chant Om, Nama Prana, uh, Om Prana Namaha. It's like we're sending out energy to everyone here in our space who's practicing. And if you look along uh, the top of your screen, you'll see that it's almost like we're holding hands. And then we breathe in, and then we're going to chant Om Prana Namaha, bringing that to our hearts. And we're going to do that three times. So we'll do it together. So you just follow me. You can look at your device if you want, if you're not sure. Otherwise, you can do it with your eyes closed. But just have this sense of us all being together and joining in energy and vibration in this space. So take a inhalation. Om Prana Namaha. Inhale. Om Prana Namaha. Inhale. Breathe in, 
important part of the mantra is the silence after so just let you your whole awareness drop into the silence enjoying the stillness and the peace And then when you're ready, open your eyes. Thank you all so much for being here and for sharing the practice. It's really lovely to see you and I look forward to seeing you whenever you can make it. So I wish you lots of love and wish you a wonderful week ahead. Namaste. Thank you. See you soon. Take care, everybody.